Learning Made Easy, proudly presents Science Grade 4, Unit 1 Lesson 1, Forces Cause Motion and Balanced and Unbalanced Forces, by McGraw-Hill Science Textbook. LME partially recreated and re-edited the Forces Cause Motion and Balanced and Unbalanced Forces, Science Lessons, in order to make it easier to understand for kids. ESL audience, special needs, and LD students. In this science lesson, you will learn that force causes objects to move slower or faster. Number 1. What makes the cart move? The horses do, because they exert force to make the cart move. Number 2. Without force, can the cart move on its own? No, an object cannot move on its own. Objects always need force, like push or pull, to make them move. Number 3. Greater the force equals faster the speed. Two horses exert more force, which cause the carts to move faster. That's why the green arrow is the longest for two horses. Number 4. More weight causes the speed to slow down. Horse letter A only has one wooden box, but horse letter C has two wooden boxes. The two boxes are more weight than one box. More weight cause the speed to slow down. Number 5. Less weight equals more speed. Horse letter A has less weight to carry and so it can push the cart faster than horse letter C. What information on this page helps you to determine how the cart in the diagram accelerates? Force helps the cart to Force helps the cart to accelerate Motion is caused by force Things cannot move without force Can the carts move on its own? What are the forces that make the carts move? The carts cannot move on its own The horses exert force to make the carts move Motion is caused by force. Things cannot move without force. Can these things move on its own? What forces made them move? Push, pull, gravity and kick are some forces that make things move. What constant force is making the cars and airplane keep moving? Engine or motor is the constant force that keeps vehicles moving. Why do vehicles need constant force to keep moving? The ground, air, or wind causes friction against the cars and airplane. What is friction? Two objects that rub against each other. The purple box is one object. The floor is the second object. When the box rubs against the floor, the floor causes friction against the moving purple box. Why do vehicles need constant force to keep moving? The engine is the constant force to keep vehicles moving. Vehicles are always going against friction from the ground, air, and wind. They also go against gravity. Force is push or pull. Force can make the object move, change direction, move faster or slower. Greater force equals greater acceleration or speed. The heavier the object is, the more force is needed to move it. 
What two things, cause objects to move faster, slower, or in different directions? More force equals more acceleration, or more speed. More weight equals more force, is needed to make things move. The heavier the object, equals slower movement. The lighter the object, equals faster movement. How can you, increase the speed of the cart? You can push harder, to make it go faster. More force, will make the object move faster. How can you, increase the speed of the cart? You can decrease the weight, and use the same force, to push the cart. Look at horse letter A. It pulls less weight than horse letter C. Less weight, will increase the speed. When an object with force, touches another object, it's called, contact force. Force that does not touch an object, to make it move, is called non-contact force. Magnetic force is contact or non-contact force. Magnetic force is non-contact force. Gravity is contact or non-contact force. Gravity is non-contact force. What kind of force is it, when the moon and earth, pull towards each other? Non-contact force. The moon and earth do not touch each other, and yet, they pull towards each other. What are balanced or unbalanced forces? Balanced and unbalanced forces. Balanced forces can go in the same, or opposite directions. Equal forces, cause no movement. Balanced forces cause objects to be at rest. Unbalanced forces can go in the same, or opposite direction. Unequal forces make things move. Two people moving the piano to the right, is an example of forces going in the same direction. Two dogs playing tug-of-war, is an example of forces, moving in opposite directions. Why do balanced forces, cause no movement? Equal forces have zero forces, and they cancel each other out. When the tug-of-war teams, have the same power and force, then the rope will not move, until one team starts to exert more force. The rope will then start to move toward the team that exerts more force. The two girls on the seesaw have equal forces. Their forces cancel each other out, which will cause no movement, until one girl starts to exert more force. The seesaw will then start to move, toward the girl that exerts more force. When objects are at rest, the forces are balanced, or equal. If the forces acting on the object is zero, then there will be no acceleration, nor movement. The objects will be, at rest. Zero forces, cause the objects to be at rest. Forces on a moving object, can be balanced. How is that possible? What force, is making the moving object, balanced? Wind and air are forces, that go against the moving object. The ice skaters, are the moving objects. When you skate in a straight line, and at the same speed, will the forces be balanced or unbalanced? The forces will be balanced. When forces are unequal, there will always be movement. The team that has more power and force, will cause the rope to move to their side. Whenever two people move the dresser, there is more force and power than the floor. Two people sitting on the seesaw, has more force and weight, than one person. 
the girl exerts more force on the box than the floor. Forces that do not add up to zero are unbalanced forces. Unequal forces will always cause movement or acceleration. Why do balanced forces cause no movement? Both forces are balanced, which cancels each other out. As a result, there's no movement. Equal forces are balanced, which then cancels each other out. As a result, there is no movement. If the forces acting on the object is zero, then there will be no acceleration nor movement. The objects will be at rest. Unbalanced forces can cause a change in speed or direction. What two forces are going against the skier to make her come to a stop? Air, wind and snow. Unbalanced forces can cause a change in speed or direction. The big hill has bigger gravity to pull the skier downwards. Therefore, the skier moves down the hill at a faster speed. The smooth snow causes less friction on the skier. Less friction from the snow enables the skier to go downhill faster. Unbalanced forces can cause a change in speed or direction. The bumpy hard snow caused more friction, which changed the skier's direction and slowed down his speed. What is inertia? Inertia means that all objects have a tendency to stay in motion, or stay at rest. Look at how the coin will stay at rest, unless a force acts against it, to make it move. Notice the paper was quickly moved away from the coin, and therefore, the coin dropped down, at the bottom of the glass of water, to stay at rest. There was no other force, acting against the coin to make it go into motion. Look at the balls. They are ready to go in motion, just as soon as a force, allows them to move. Look at the ball at rest on the ground. It will not go into motion, until there is a force that makes it move. The soccer player then kicks the ball, which then causes the ball to go into motion. The ball will keep moving until an unbalanced force stops it. The net has more force to stop, the moving ball. Inertia example. At first, the man is at rest. Later, he goes into motion. Inertia example. At first, the car is at rest. It will go into motion, whenever a person drives it. When the mouse runs, it is in motion. When the mouse stops running, it is at rest. What is this, an example of? It is an example of, inertia. At first, the student is at rest. Later, the student goes into motion, by raising hand or doing schoolwork. This is an example of what? Inertia. What causes movement? Balanced or unbalanced forces. When an object is accelerating or moving, it has unbalanced or balanced forces. Unbalanced forces always cause movement. When an object is accelerating, it has unbalanced forces acting on it. Forces can change the blank or blank of an object. The answer is Forces can change the speed, or direction of an object. More force cause the ball to move farther and faster. 
less force on the ball, cause it to not go very far and fast. The soccer player's twisted kick motion can change the direction of the moving ball. Thank you for watching one of LME's educational videos for kids and ESL audience. Please come back for more educational videos that are especially made for kids, ESL audience, special needs, and LD students.